hi, a film I caught up with yesterday that I uh, probably ought to have seen a long time ago is The Haunting, Robert Wise's 1963 ghost story. It's about a group of people going to a famously troubled house in the New England countryside to investigate whether or not there really is some kind of uh, supernatural presence in the house, or really it's just been a succession of terrible tragedies. Uh, it's based on the book The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson, which was adapted again in 1999 by Jan de Bond as a roller coaster ride. Um, a movie, but it feels like a roller coaster ride and it's also terrible. And more recently, as a Netflix series, although apparently it's been massively expanded. Um, the original film is very highly regarded. Um, so I was coming to it with a degree of interest, with a certain um, feeling that this is going to be very frightening. And I was extremely disappointed. Um, the focus in the story is on one particular member of the uh, expedition, uh, a young woman called Eleanor, played by Julie Harris, who has had poltergeist manifestations in the past, but has also spent her entire adult life caring for her cruel invalid mother, who's only recently died, and now living in her sister's house, forced to sleep on the sofa. She's finally been able to break free by joining this group of people who are interested in her, and she forms a, an unnatural almost codependent bond with the house. Psychologically, it's an interesting story, and there are a lot of elements that are engaging and worth pulling apart, but it's ultimately not in any way scary. The decision to have all the ghosts off screen, uh, they're behind walls, we see shapes pressing against doors, or just about audible but indiscernible whispers, or strange noises or, or furniture moving, they're all uh, designed to be more alarming than, say, the end of Night of the Demon, which came out around the same time, where at the end of the film we actually see the demon and it looks like a, a crocodile on two legs and it's ridiculous. Here we see nothing and that should make it more frightening, but just the lack of tension and the lack of uh, suspense, I think, really counts against it. Um, the film was notable at the time for featuring a character who is very clearly a lesbian, um, uh, another psychic uh, played by Claire Bloom. And she and Eleanor form a, a bond that suggests certain repressed feelings on Eleanor's part. Um, but it's never made, uh, in deference to when the, the, the film was made, it's never made explicit. Uh, the other two members of the team are uh, Richard Johnson, the head of the uh, group and the eventual owner of the mansion who's due to inherit it when the current owner dies played by russ tamblin who'd been in weiss's previous film west side story um and he plays the the comic relief skeptic uh it's a well-acted film the cast is taking it seriously the director is treating the material with respect but it, it, it just never manages to crystallize beyond really the level of a second-rate ghost train. Um, there's enough material here to be genuinely interesting and to give it real psychological depth if it were to delve more deeply into uh, Eleanor's relationship with the house or her psyche or to make her the, much more the, the focus of the story. But I feel it's too diffuse. She's put front and centre, but it, it never really commits to her damaged psychology. So although it's it's a well-made film, it's not even remotely living up to its reputation, and I would struggle to recommend it, to be honest.